Hey guys, Oko here. Welcome back to our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we're going to be uh, looking for these for a uh, little um, parts of the ruins. There's a description here. And uh, we already talked to them. It was in a previous episode. But let's take a look at that one now. Uh, was it here? Yes, it is. Oh, no, this is the one that sort of umbrellas the other four. These are the four. What was this one again? Oh, yeah, that one. Yikes. That one's coming up. Yuck. Let's concentrate on these, though. So here we have uh, the owl. I'm going to write this down. Because basically what we're going to be doing is just wandering around these ruins in this area. as This little island here surrounded by mud. And we're going to just look for these four things. One is an owl. Um, and that one is for the Sage of Wind. So I'm writing down Owl Wind. Display the power of the Sage of the Owl protected by many dragons. Owl protected by dragons, I'm writing down. Wind. <laughs> so this was fire. And this is... Uh, the the space between two dragons. Okay, I wrote that down. Uh, this one is water. In the presence of six dragons. That's an easy one. And the last one was lightning. And we're going to use the Sage of Lightning's power at the end of the Long Dragon. At the end of the Long Dragon that protects Death Mountain. End of... Dragon... Okay, I wrote that down. So, the only part of this ruins, when we first came here to get the tower, we basically just found the location, jumped over the mud, and just ran right for this. <laughs> it was a long time ago now, many, many months ago. I can barely remember that, but we didn't look around the ruins very much. So let's do that now. And there's a lot of uh, Zonai monsters around here, so we'll be able to kill those and get more parts, which are going to be useful for getting items from the vending machines. Here's one right here. Uh, we don't have our... We don't have our Master Sword right now, but that's okay. It's taking a long time. Yeah. That was a... that took a long time. That's not good. We might need to use an attack up. This thing is weird. I've had this a long time. I'd like to get rid of this stick. Soldier Construct Four Horn. Alright, so I guess we're sort of outside the ruins now. So let's sort of stay in. Look around. So, uh, we might be looking for a mural at some point as well, because... We are supposed to look for the dragon's tail at the end of Death Mountain. So I'm just sort of patrolling the perimeter here. There's going to be more of those. Robots. Let's fight this one. Maybe we can sneak up, sneak up around it. 
Let's go with the one that had the mo the Lionel. This one has the Lionel parts attached to it, so it's really strong. Oh, here's some things. Between two dragons? Was this maybe the one? You know, boo, let's try. Yes, that was good. All right, so one down, four to go, or three to go. Rubies. And that fulfilled that quest. Good, so yeah, one of four done. So we can actually... Um, Yonobu's served us his purpose, so that's good. We'll let him go. So we just have to look for the other noteworthy areas. Like, you know, we should be able to tell when we're supposed to do something. I hope. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This guy's a tough one, but we're fast, so... So, here we have a bunch of dragons. I should probably look for these. These square things will let, will let us know that there's something... Yeah, that there's something around there, I think, is probably what we're supposed to do. Now, this is the owl. I think that's protected by dragons, right? Because here's the dragons. So let's just see here. So this one is... This one's wind, yeah. So let's see here. No, it didn't work. Uh, yeah, there's more dragons over here, so this has got to be it. Display the power of wind to the owl protected by many dragons. Maybe it's here. I don't know. We'll just keep trying this. I'm sure... Oh, maybe that's the wrong owl. There's an owl there, too. Here, hold on. Maybe it's here. Yep. Sapphires, awesome. Well, it looks like there's lots of dragons here. One, two, three. Ah, here we go. One, two, three, four. This is the six dragons. So this is the water one. 
Here we go. Try it again. This has to be it. It has to be. Yeah, there's definitely one in this area. Here we go. Is this part of the tale? Maybe this is the continuing of the tale of the dragon as protecting Death Mountain. here. Let's follow the tail, because I know that there's one. Oh, this is the head. Darn it. We went the wrong way. Okay, well, I think we're onto something. I think this might be the one. So this is the tail. Let's just find the end. Going this way. That's basically here. Here we go. All right. Now, I'm sure that other one was the right we were I just don't know what's going on with the water one I'm sure that's the right spot we were at I put a marker on the map so we can go back to that one I'm sure that's the right spot I'll just explore a little bit on my way though Alright, this one, I can't understand why this one's not working. This has to be the right place. It says six dragons. There's six dragons here. What if I do a spin attack? Would that do anything? Ah! That did do something. Couldn't really see it very well, but I guess that made water spin around us in every direction. Alright, there we go. We found all four of the secret places of the Thilo Ruins. Now we'll have to see if we... We might have to go back to the guy. Or does he come to us? Let's see. Ooh. Something's happening. I just gotta figure out where that was now. Um... <laughs> I have no idea where that was. I was worried about that. Um, oh boy. Okay, well here's the guy. Huh? My trusty assistant, you're back. I thought I could hear a loud noise from deep within the ruins. You hear that too, right? That was unsettling. I wonder what might have caused it. So this way. Th 
this? Here. This must be it. Let's get the treasure first. Dusk Claymore. A slender claymore thought to have been handed down to the kingdom of Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. Wow, okay, well... We'll definitely take that. It's already 32 as a base. Attack power is pretty good. Hey, hey hello, are you there? Hmm. So this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Wait, you found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it? Dare we? We dare. Here, allow me. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Raru gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon King. Wait, King Raru? Imprisoning the Demon King? Roru is named in legend as the first king of Hyrule. And this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, the monolith, is no doubt a chronal chronicle of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding. Let's read on. The great battle ended with a seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyruleans, Loyal warriors, all, who hastened to King Roru's aid, as their oaths demanded. They are the pride of the people of Hyrule. This stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo through time. I see. In other words, this ruin is dedicated to the sages who fought with Roru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterward. That explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monolith we found. <laughs> what a discovery! I'm astonished to find a so profound a secret hidden in these long-buried ruins so full of mystery. Ah. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's written on this monolith. Once my heart rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team, base in Kakariko, and turn my findings into a book. <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. Ha ha ha. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, whoops. I completely forgot to give you a reward. I never could have solved the mysteries of these ruins without you, my assistant. You have my thanks. A large zone I charged. Please take this. And a big battery. Cool. And this too as a bonus. A diamond. Wow. Holy, thank you so much. If you came all this way just to see some ruins, you must be almost as fanatical about Zonai history as I am. So please enjoy these Zonai artifacts I discovered. Mementos to remember you on of our time working together. Now, fear not. Since I'll be sticking around a while, you can come back if ever you'd like to talk ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trails. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. I suppose, see, this, I don't think so, but let's just see. I don't think this is one of the... Things we need to photograph for that guy in Kakariko. No, it doesn't look like it. This one. Maybe this is it. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a picture of this just in case. It seems like this would be one of them, but I thought that if this was one of them, you'd think there would be a little, like, icon indicating that it's for a quest, but... Just to be safe, I'm going to take a picture of that. Alright, so that's it, guys. I, I think that's everything in the... In the Th Thilo Ruins. Uh, we can come back here sometime to do some hunting. And grinding for Zonai parts if we want to. Because there was lots of those robots around, which is really nice. And strong ones, too. So, it was kind of good. We stocked up on some of our stuff. Our loot. Yeah, so I'm going to run around the world now and do a few other... Little side adventures and side quests uh, that I've been meaning to get to for a while now. So I think the next place we're going to be heading is probably going to be just a little bit down here in this region here. Or probably over here. Yeah, we're going to be heading west.
So this is where the uh, the band has been playing for a while now. They chose a really cool place to just hang out for the longest amount of time. <laughs> but that's my fault. Now they wanted something to be done to their carriage. I think they said that it didn't have a roof. This one. The wagon has no roof. So is it as simple as just putting a board on top? I don't know. I mean, one of these boards? Let's find out. If that's good enough. There. Is that good enough? Let's see. We simply must put on a performance for the great fairy. Our music will be just the thing to encourage her out of her bud. But with the roof of our bazaar in disrepair, we can't reach her. I'll take you. Did I hear you say you'll take us to where the great fairy awaits? But for that, we'd have to... What's this? Our breezer has been fitted with a roof? The world hasn't abandoned us. I'll never forget your kindness. I accept your offer. All aboard, everyone. Wow, that was like the easiest one we ever had to do. Or Oh. We're all aboard. The road to the Great Fairy starts by going around from the left and climbing a little way up the mountain. I leave the rest to you, good sir. So, I thought they had a... No, we gotta use our own horse. So, okay. Oops. Give me a sec. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Taken out? Really? Ah, oh, we got a lot of, um, horses. So, should we go with Epona? Let's go with Epona. Oh. 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 Yeah, we want to change equipment. We want the towing harness. That's perfect. Stop talking. So now we come over here. Okay, I don't know. Does anyone else have this problem? Is it just me? I've always had problems with this thing. It's just obnoxious. So annoying. All right, let's just take a little look at the map here. So we need to get him up to here. And there might be a stupid dragon on the way, if you can believe it. A Gleok. Oh, and there's, um... Ah, shoot. There's Bacoblins. No, we're gonna lose the roof. Oh, shoot. Okay, go. Go. I don't know. I'm getting kind of scared. I just don't know how fast I can go with this horse. It doesn't... You can do it. Let's go. Everyone okay? No, we're good. We're good. Oh, 
great fairy, the stable trotters have arrived. Yikes, that was a bit stressful, but we made it. We've done it. You have our thanks. You've taken us right to where we need to be. All right, everyone, no time to dawdle. Strike up the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome to hear everyone playing together. That was such a cute song. And here we are, the very last great fairy. The fourth one, I think it was? Four? The great fairy has returned to us. This, this is one of the greatest days of my life. The great fairy herself enjoyed my humble horn playing. What a day. What a divine presence. What splendor. I will remember this moment all my life. We can't hang around all day. We must return to the stable to share the good news. Thank you again. Which leaves only your reward. Now, now, don't be shy. A silver rupee. Oopsie, that's left the old wallet pretty light. But that's no excuse to skimp on our thanks. A clear conscience is worth every rupee. Our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved, I'm inspired, I'm beside myself with joy. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerge in response to our music, it gave all of us in the troupe confidence in our playing. If you ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. The show's not over. Far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making audiences smile all over the kingdom. It's up to us to pour all our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. I consider you an honorary member of our Grand Stable Trotters Troop. Might I know your name? Link, eh? Hmm, so that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters, no more. In honor of this genuine hero, let us be known as the Stable Heroes. All right, then. We're going back to the stable. We'll borrow this horse. <laughs> really? And don't you worry, we'll return this noble steed. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. What about me? You're just going to abandon me up here? That's okay, we can beam back. We've got the power of transportation. And now the fairy. So you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. I would have liked to be released by someone bigger, but... Well, a slim little lad like you is fine too, I suppose. It seems the world is not so corrupted as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can enhance your clothing. But of course, I require the necessary materials to do it. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so now we got maximum. Um, so we can just at least see uh, the basic stuff. What do we need? Silver Bacoblin horns is the, the new thing we need now. And we're going to need another 90 amber, which we have. So we're good on that. We'll need another 15 of the guts, which we have. So we're just going to have to farm silver bacoblin horns to bring up our base set to the maximum. 
And we need 1,500 rupees. It looks like it's 500 for each piece. What about these fire-breathing Lizolfos? These still aren't up. I can do one of these. Hmm, which one do I want to do? Doesn't really matter. Oh, it took all our money, though. Probably wasn't worth it. I didn't really need to upgrade that right now. We just lost most of the money we had, but it doesn't really matter. We'll get more money. Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't know why I bothered doing that, but... Yeah. But anyway, that's it. That's the last Grand Fairy, and... Now, I think we can go to any one of them, though, to do the upgrading. Yeah, it's really a little cold here for us. Whoops. So, yeah, there we go. There's another... We might even be able to go in here to get uh, healed. No? Oh, I'm surprised. I thought this would have been a healing spring. Mm. Oh, well. That is surprising, but anyway. Yep, so let's just find some other things to do. I'm kind of in the mood for... doing some good things with fairies. So maybe we can... Get some dragon parts for some uh, st uh, fairy statues. There's the Gleok down there. We're going to fight that eventually. Ugh, that's coming up. Well, there's a Gleok for our monster collection, and, uh... <laughs> that'll be interesting. Wow, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that is creepy. Mwah, just look at that magnificent work. Wow. This must be put on display too. Go ahead and decorate the stage with it as you see fit. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. What did he just say? Darn it. He just said something important. Darn it. He just said something important. I think he said he wanted a... I think he said he wanted a stone talus. Like that. Uh. It's a little funny, isn't it? He, I can't quite get him level. Okay, I'm gonna put one more. I want to see if he says something about a battle talus. I don't know. How about this picture? Whoops. Cool. 
God, they're freaky looking. Ah, I hope I can add a Battle Talus sculpture to my collection too. Alright, so there it is. So that confirms it. That might be the only way to finish the quest, because you notice he just keeps on... Uh... He just keeps on uh, asking for more things, so... Alright, well that's enough of that for now. I'll look for a battle talus then. A battle talus. Mm. I'm actually here up in the sky just because I wanted to. I'm um, hunting a dragon. I'm, I'm after Nadra. Because I see Nadra in the distance. I thought maybe I could get to her. Alright, let's see here. There she is. Ugh. Let's see. I want to see if I can get one of her claws. We might be able to get to her from here. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Um, we'll take a picture of it. If we can. No. I don't think Dinroll's claw let us take a picture of it either. But anyway, there's the there's the the, the Nadra's claw that we needed. Yeah, so that's one of the two dragon parts. So the other one we need, I think, is the ferocious claw. That was Nadra, yeah, ferocious claw. And Ferocious Claw. Mm-hmm. Well, I was just hanging out here waiting for um, Faroche to show up. Because he's supposed to come through the canyon here. Um, but I guess we're early. I've been here for a while, most of the day. But in the meantime, I noticed Kilton's over here. We can... Um, yeah, we can get some more stuff from him. There's a chasm over here that Faroche will come out of, apparently. Oh, there it is, right over there. So all we have to do is keep an eye on that area over there, and we can just get back to the tower, which we were just at. I don't think we're going to miss him. So let's get this Lionel main. Or mask, I should say. That was the last thing he offered. <laughs> Sounds fair. Four. <laughs> we can get one more item after this, I think.
All right, awesome. Now Lionel Mask. Now we can mess around with the with the Lionels. So now what do we got here? Gleok Thunderhorn. Three of them for four. Yes. And that's all. So, what the- wow, that must be the last piece of the mystic armor. I don't have enough money for whatever that is. That is a freaky looking thing. Let's just see if he'll talk about it. So, he wants five for this one. I think this is the last item. Yeah, well, we don't have enough. Let me think about it. He doesn't even really say what it is. Interesting. Okay, well... I mean, we could easily get another two bubble gems. We could probably get two just within this area. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I guess we'll just kind of wait here for now. Oh, you know, I'm just going to kind of wait around this chasm. Here's that statue that remember that little desert area of the ring of statues? I don't know if I ever actually went down into the hole. Like the uh, sand pit hole. So maybe I should check down there. Like we looked around here a little bit, but yeah, we never actually went down into here. Did we? Maybe we did, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going back to the tower anyway, so let's just see what's down here. Hmm. Yeah, well, there's definitely stuff down here, huh? But I don't really want to... Yeah, we're lightning proof, so I don't need to... Is there anything over here? I'm trying to see, and I don't know. Or maybe there's a way to go through here. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm not going to mess around with this right now because I'm after this dragon. So I'm just going to head back to the tower where I can keep an eye on things. There it is. There's Farosh. We got a good... We got a good view of him. I think we can just go from here. Here, here we go. I don't think we even need to go to the tower. But we'll, we'll make an attempt here. And if we fail, then we'll go to the... Yeah. Uh, we don't have enough height, I think. Okay, we will go to the tower, but yeah, he's on his way, so we're fine. We'll get him. Alright, here, Farosh. We need one of your claws. Be nice to us. That was my mistake. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I think we're okay, though. Yeah, that's all we need to do. There we go. Ferocious Claw. I even managed to capture it before it... 
got out of our grasp. I wonder if we can also get a scale on him while we're here. No, we're good. We got an item from him, so it... Oh, are they here? Oh, yeah, they are here. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the lightning. Because I got my helmet on, so we're good. Let's get more of these scales. Why not? We might be able to sell these for big bucks. Because we, we could use a lot of money, you know? If we get enough of these scales, maybe we can buy some more rooms for our house in Terrytown. I don't know how much these sell for, but... We can also use these, I think, for, like, potions and... Well... Don't... Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. So, that's good. So, now I'm just going to head to the, the, the two fairies that were looking for those items that we wanted, right? The first one... There was one right up here in this area, I think, wasn't it? No, not there. Uh-oh. Where was it? Oh, it was down further here. Up here. Yes, here. This was the one. Yep, Spring of Courage. Let's go there first. Alright, this was the one that was in the really cool building that was like a giant head. So now it's daytime, we can get a better look at it. I'll try and fly over it here too so we can get a good look at this head. It looks like one of those Zonai heads actually, like those flame emitter things. And ice emitter. Alright, but this was the Spring of Courage and that was the one that wanted Ferocious Claw. Hmm. Take that. Mighty Thistle. And an Iron Shroom. Alright, so here's the fairy. Uh, so we'll take out the Ferocious Claw. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. So pass. Thank you. There is one last goddess statue who guards. Alright, there we are. So now I will take care of the last one. No, it was up the mountain. That's what it was. It was up here, I believe. Yeah. Spring of Wisdom. That's the one. And here's the Spirit of Wisdom in, in Mount Laneru. And this is the one that required... Nadra's Claw, right. Nadra. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing, Sapphire. With your aid, a measure of our strength has gone to restore the Goddess statue, who dwells in the vast canyon. You should make a pilgrimage there in tribute. Yes, so we're ready to do that. So, I'll put on my clothes. And... Let's head there and see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Here we go. She's upright again. All right. So what is she going to do for us? I have no idea. I have a hint. I have a... Th well, not a hint, but... I'm 
Well, I won't say anything. Let's just see what happens here. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, I am deeply grateful to the aid you have provided to the statues of the springs. In recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage, I should like to present to you a sword. Kindly organize your belongings so that another sword may fit among them and return to me once this is done. Oh, wow, okay, no, I, I thought maybe it would be another Tunnock, something based on a previous Zelda game because they did that in the last game, I think. So let's see, let's drop this. And pray again. Let's see what kind of sword she's going to give us. White Sword of the Sky. A sword said to have once belonged to a hero from the sky. Its beautiful white blade stands out when it's wielded. A strange yet heavenly breeze kicks up around you. I guess that's a tribute to Skyward Sword. Go and bring peace to this world. All right, so there we go. I wonder if we only get one of these swords or if when it's used up, if we can maybe use it again. Or, I mean, come here to get another one is what I mean to say. Master Sword. White Sword of the Sky. Wow, so there was the Tunic from Wind Waker. The Tunic and the Blue Shirt. And then that from Scarwood's sword. I think there's other things we can get too from different Zelda games, but we haven't gotten them yet. Alright, so there's one more thing I want to do before we finish off this episode. So, I'll meet you guys down in the southeast area. Alright, so here we are at the Hateno Village Tech Lab. Wow, I'm surprised to see talk here. Looks like things are kind of happening around here right now. Let me just take a, a little look inside and see what's going on. Almost time. What is? I'm going to buy something from this. I want to see if that fulfills the quest. Because we do have a quest entry that says, you know, buy things from this guy. To fill out your compendium, but I thought it just meant come back when your compendium is uh, full. Or yeah, but let me just see what happens here. Um, other pictures, weapon pictures. What's other? Oh, I don't have enough. Look at that! I don't have enough. I have ninety-nine and not a hundred. God, how stupid. Okay, well we'll have to try that again some other time. Ta-ha! <laughs> One rupee away. That's so stupid. Alright, so the reason I'm here is because... Well, it was just raining a second ago, and now all of a sudden it stopped. Uh, we want to head this way, towards here, where I think I'm going to find a shrine that we can finish things off with. So let's take a little look around and look for a cave. Yeah, I see a, a thing, uh, a, a rabbit, what do you call them? <laughs> All right, here we go. Zora sword. All right, let's look in Deep Bak Bay Cave. Oh boy! Better get my master sword out. Darn it!
Where is he? He fell down the hole. That's a big hole. Oh, look at that. The shrine is actually in water, which means I'm probably going to have to go down there and do something about that. I don't think we're going to be able to get in here until we drain the water. <laughs> right? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. All right, hold on. Okay, let me think here. What I think I'm going to do is try and be smart about this. Let's see. Well, it's too bad I don't have anything to... Hold on. What's that? Is that another lizard? Yes, it is. I need to make... Terrible timing. <laughs> All right, so this is that's where we want to bomb. Open up. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. And bomb there. Oh, well, as expected, there's our water drained. And I don't think that Yiga member is coming down. But I bet you anything that at the bottom of this will find a uh, frog. Oh, well, maybe not. This looks like kind of a dead end now, doesn't it? Alright, well, I'm out of here then. We're gonna go into the shrine and end this. <laughs> Anadamamic shrine. Alright, this is what we're gonna do to end the episode. After I do one little look around. What's this? Oh, there we go. And that was it. That was our last arrow. We're out of arrows now. Mm, I want that luminous stone. Where did that come from? Was that always there? I don't remember that there just a second ago. Hmm, strange. All right, let's check out the shrine. A retraced path. So we have a ball. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. We gotta wait for the ball to go. And we're gonna need this.
Oh. Oh, come on. Okay, now it's going to go back. Is that it? Surely that can't be it. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna come out to look around a little bit. I just can't believe that's it. Well, there is a chest here. How would I get that though? Who knows? I don't know how I would get that. Let's see, can I lift it? No, I don't know. Oh, how would I get that? Whoops. Oh, the easy, we can just go up like this, okay. Thought we had to somehow jump over to it or fly over to it. Alright, didn't want to leave that behind. So there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to do that again now, what we just did. It was pretty easy. Should, should be able to do it again. We just want to make sure we got this handy. Alright, here we go. So we'll wait for the ball to come. There it goes. Yeah, and that's it. And then this just goes back into the slot. And that's it. Alright guys, so that's going to be everything for today. Um, in the next step, we did a lot today. That was quite a list of things we just did. We got completed a lot of really important quests and side adventures, so we did really well. Yeah, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is, I think, heading just a little more south from here and heading back to Laurelin Village and um, finishing off the quests there because one of the quests was those women, um, the racers, the, the Gerudo women, from Terrytown are there and they're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna collect some data on the water vehicles. And there was also a guy who was looking for a boat, so I think I might be able to look around here for a boat. We might be able to take the boat from here. We'll see. I'll look into it. Um, and then after that I also want to investigate this island in the very southeastern. This one, Koholit Rock at Taranbo Beach. That's the other thing we're gonna be. So it's gonna be sort of a Nakluda Sea area. Um, episode next time. Alright, but that's going to be everything for today's episode, so thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye for now.